I had another dream. The Bible talks about a scarlet colored beast. I had a dream where I saw a bat with seven heads and ten horns. On its wings I saw all kinds of evil signs like the pentagram and other signs. The Bible calls them names of blasphemy. I don't know exactly what these seven heads represent. But uh, you can basically see these main groups that go by the five point star. Muslims, Masons, Satanists, Hollywood, how they bow to that five point star. Uh, the papacy, the Pope's got it on his forehead. These different groups and organizations. But it says that one of these seven heads receives a mortal head wound and that he miraculously recovers and that the whole world wonders after the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who can make war with the beast? I know I saw whenever Saddam Hussein was hung on the nightly news. I saw when Muammar Gaddafi, the leader of Libya, was shot, tied to the hood of the toilet to pick up drug around town for three days and put off in a meat locker so more people could see his body. The world sees these leaders when they're killed and they rejoice over killing them. But when Osama bin Laden was supposedly killed, nobody saw no pictures or nothing. I don't believe it ever happened. They say that they shot the man in the left eye. At a Time magazine here I'm reading that says, Shot the man in the left eye. They say blood and brain spilling from his head. A mortal head wound, right? Now over here is what really gets me though. It says, Bin Laden's remains were flown to the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson in the North Arabian Sea. The author of the September 11th attacks, the man who fancied himself the Imar, a revived Islamic Khalifa spanning the Middle East, South Asia, and North Africa, was richly bathed administered Muslim funeral prayers in Arabic and dropped into the water 12 hours after he died. We're not going to ritually bathe him. We're not going to speak Arabic over his body, so respectful like. We're going to piss on him and show the world we killed him. But uh, everybody, Obama didn't want to uh, incite the Muslim world with, uh, with showing pictures. But yet every time he went up for re-election, he said, I killed Osama, I killed Osama. You know, let's see some pictures. It never happened. When he returns from the grave, the whole world's going to wander after the Muslims, saying, who is like the Muslims? Who can beat the Muslims? But God showed me that beast out stretched underneath that capital dome for a reason. It says that a great harlot sits upon the back of the seven-headed beast, and that the beast makes war with the harlot. If you look above this dome, there's a statue up here. It's called the Statue of the Goddess of Freedom, also known as Lady Liberty. Before I show you about her, let me talk about the Tower of Babel, Genesis 9-1. After the flood, God blessed Noah and his sons and said, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. Two chapters over, the whole earth was of one language and of one speech, and they all spoke the same thing, and they defied God. They said, We're going to stay right here in this town, in Shinar, and we're going to build us a tower whose top may reach into heaven, lest we be scattered. Lest we do what God said in the first place. So God scattered them all. He took that one, scattered them. Well, uh, my Bible in the commentary, I got a Greek Hebrew study, study Bible that says, The intent of the tower may not have been to reach heaven, the expression can also refer to a tower with an idolatrous temple for heaven on its top. That's exactly what this one is and what everyone in our chief cities are. They're towers of Babel. They're towers to worship the heavens. That's why it's round for the celestial bodies. It's like an eclipse. The planets align if you look at it from the top down. If you study about this dome and the architecture, it talks all about celestial harmony. Everything in that dome. If you look underneath that dome, though, There's a painting, or a mural, it's called The Patheosis of Washington, put there in 1865, wherein gods and goddesses intermingle with Washington and other American heroes, Poseidon, Mercury, uh, all these different ones. But there's a ring of five-point stars all the way around it. They're just worshiping the heavens and, instead of the, the creator of the heavens. But they got George Washington sitting in the center as God. That's what a lot of people worship in America is George Washington. They worship that flag. They worship anything but the God of gods. The God of all, he, there is no other God beside him. But the, uh, this, the statue right here, with the five point stars, the shield, the spear, all this stuff, this is what's atop the, the Capitol Dome here, the Goddess of Freedom. These are all the same symbols as Athena, and that's what that tower is. It's the same as Athens, Greece, made to worship Athena. That's all they're still worshiping. Same gods and goddesses. With the five point star all the way around her head, forehead there. The mark of the beast. That same fresco underneath the dome there, there's these figures right here with five point stars above their foreheads everywhere. E pluribus unum. Out of many, one. If you think about what God did during the Tower of Babel, all the people were one. God scattered and made many. What we've done in America is taken that many and brought them all back into one. JFK said that we are a nation of nations, a melting pot. No other nation is like America. We are the new Babylon. Revelation 18, 4 talks to her. 18 talks about Babylon. What's about to happen to her? 
There's another picture with a five point star on her forehead. Looking like a harlot looking uh, pointing to the dome. Different pictures and stuff. Most of you know about the five point stars, the pentagrams in the streets of DC and the six point star and the pyramid and the owl shape for Athena. That was that was Athena's symbol is the owl. It's on our dollar bill, it's on the Capitol grounds. It's also based off of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, how they got that obelisk in front of theirs. We got the Washington Monument in front of ours. This dome in Oklahoma City got the five point star at the center of it. I hope I can get better on the internet and show you all these domes. That... But there's this great harlot here. If you study the Greek and the Hebrew, the words for harlot, Strong's number 4205, Pornos, Greek, where we get uh, the word pornography from, down there it says libertine. And libertine is one who is sexually promiscuous. And this liberty is freedom from slavery, captivity, etc. It's freedom from God. It's freedom to do their own thing. It's freedom for homosexual marriage, freedom for abortion. Let's read about Revelation 17. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. On Ellis Island, the Statue of Liberty sits upon many waters because all the nations flock to her for immigration purposes with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication we've made the world drunk with the wine of our liberty hong kong was just holding the protest for their liberty and all this made him drunk so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and i saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. There's a golden cup in her hand. There's a famous painting, Liberty leading the people during the French Revolution with the scarlet robe around her breast. There she is with purple, scarlet, and gold. All these different pictures. It's just stuff that I've found in while in prison over five years there she is in a purple scarlet gold and the bible even says pearls around her neck pearls purple scarlet on down it says and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth the bible says mystery because of the roman religion and the mystery religions the more important official Roman deities were derived from the gods and goddesses of the Greeks. When Rome overtook Greece, they brought in all their gods and goddesses, but their names were changed. Zeus became Jupiter, Aphrodite became Venus, Athena just became Liberty, still worshiping and serving the same things. Just like at the Greek pantheon, you had Athena at the center of this one. Now you got Liberty at the center of this one. It is who it is. Still worshiping and serving the same things.